taking food, taking rest, crossing stone, taking rain, taking bath, and this sort of thing. Ah, nidya bhagavan. So this is the left way. Nidya bhagavan seva ya. So here is the bhagavan from the bhakta bhagavan, which is an embodiment of bhagavan. This is daily activity. Because this is food for the soul. Understand? Food for the soul. You are thinking of the food for the body and making so much efforts, toiling so hard day and night, toiling like an ass. God Thavir Mahan is visited. Toiling like an ass. Huh? To outgate food for the body, isn't it? Yes. And you have to toil so hard. To arrange food for the body and to meet the necessities of the body. Ah, we draw a way to know. Eating, sleeping, defending, and mating. There are necessary demands of this body. They are toiling so, so hard day and night. For money, 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 money. Brighter than sunshine, sweeter than honey. Yes, without money, this poor demands cannot be met. Isn't it? Eating, sleeping, defending, and many. And these unlimited desires are there. I want this, I want this, I want that, I want that, I want that. Yes, not a mere cottage will do. Very little nice palaces. They require air condition, AC fittings must be there. All the amenities are all comfortable. Ah, isn't it? Car is modern car, very swift. No sound, so scar. All the things are supposed to be there. Television is there. Telephone is there. That is there. That is there. So scar is there. Yes, isn't it? So much demands. Then you have to earn more money, more money, more money. Otherwise, I cannot meet that demand. And you have to toil so hard, so hard day and night. But you are thinking of this soul. Also, so concerned with the body and have to arrange food for the body. If you, yes, that's fine. If you cannot give food for the body, the body will become weak, skinny. Yes, you won't give food to the body. The body will become skinny, weak. This is just something they will finish. If you cannot give food to the soul, then what will happen? Huh? Oh, that's so specific. Weak. You should think of, you cannot give food to the soul, then what will happen to the soul? Huh? Or oh, become spiritually weak. Do you understand? But, you are not to toil so hard for the arrangement. The arrangement of the food for the soul, it is so easy available. But you are not making a part for it. The paying attention to it. Huh? You are paying attention to this, isn't it? You are paying tax, so many tax, so much tax for the electricity, for this uh, electric feeding, so many. Are you paying tax for sunlight? Huh? Are you paying tax for sunlight? Free supply, free supply. Yes, you are not paying tax for sunlight. Pay tax for this. It's for what is necessities. Huh? Similarly, you are not trying so hard making other men food for this soul. This is food for this soul. Similar. Krishna Katha. Hari Katha. This is food for this soul. It's already there for us. Huh? Isn't it? So I say, somebody only develops the desire, I will go and hear Srimad Bhagavatam. Immediately, Krishna is there in the heart, becomes awakened. Awakened. And this daily activity, Nitya Bhagavatam Sivaya, is a daily activity to eat, to make arrangement for the food of the body. It's a daily activity. And one comes daily and hears Srimad Bhagavatam from the right source, from the Vaishnava, Jaya Bhagavatam, from the Vaishnava, Stani, going after the Vaishnava. With an embodiment of Bhagavata, 
The Krishna becomes Bangla. You understand? Krishna becomes Bangla. Sadya, Rudya, Varudya. Teatra, Budibi. Susu, Vi, Tatana. Immediately. Sadya means immediately. Immediately Krishna becomes Bangla. That means, by hearing Srimad Bhagavatam, we will develop that Krishna Prem Bhakti. That Krishna becomes Bangla with that rope of love. You cannot bind Krishna by any means. Sadam to be badosmi bhakti and asnav to be. Hari Bhakti Sumadaya. This is his own words, Krishna's. Sadam to be badosmi bhakti and asnav to be. Though I am supremely independent, supremely free, Krishna says, still I become bound up with the rope of love of my devotee. You understand? Yes. Understand? Yes. I become bound up with the rope of love. You cannot bind up Krishna with <coughs> Nari rope. With rope of love. Sadhya, Rudhya, Varudhya. Teatra, Rudhya, Bhi, Susususu, Bhi, Tatkana. Susususu means those who hear. Those who come and hear daily Srimad Bhagavatam, Tupanapai, right source, from Vaishnava Bhakta, Vaishnava Bhagavata, embodiment of Bhagavata, thereby the devil of Sastri Bhakti, Krishna will become bound up by that. Prima, you understand? This is the effect of hearing Srimad Bhagavatam, glory of Srimad Bhagavatam. Just young Vaishnava Yamana, young Krishna, Paramapurusya, Bhakti, Rupati, Puna, Sasuka, Moha, only by hearing Srimad Bhagavatam, you develop such Krishna Bhakti as the result of that, all your material fears, lamentations and delusions are completely finished, destroyed forever. Yes. So come ho kuya koha. Yes. Tenth character of Srimad Bhagavatam, the Mahaji says, ถ้าสุดที่ก็ตั้งตั้งบางคนอื่นเจ้าปลายโซดีตัวดีตัวอภิษฐ์ตัวสุดที่ลูกยาอืมเรื่องที่สำคัญใช่ไหมถ้าส
ठाकुर से रसिका भूमि भाव का रसिका भूमि भाव का मुहु निगम कल पत्र भागवतम
satisfied, satisfied. thought is skandha, drunk, bhuja, dances, upashakha, and twigs, prana, life air, upahara, by feeling, cha, and jatha, as indriyana of the senses. Tathiva. Similarly, Sarva of all demigods, Arana, worship, Achyuta of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Ijya, worship. Jatata Ramula Nishchamena Tripanti Tathkanda Vyopasakha Prana Pahara Chatindyana Tathiva Sarvara Vachyutijya Translation by Sarvara As pouring water on the root of a tree energizes the trunk, branches, twigs and everything else and as supplying food to the stomach enlivens the senses and limbs of the body so simply by worshipping the Supreme Personality of Godhead through devotional service, automatically satisfy the demigods who are parts of thy Supreme Personality of Godhead. Repeat translation. As pouring water on the root of a tree, as pouring water on the root of a tree, energizes the trunk, branches, energizes the trunk, branches, twigs and everything else, twigs and everything else, and as supplying food to the stomach, and as supplying food to the stomach, Enlivens the senses and limbs of the body. Enlivens the senses and limbs of the body. So simply by worshiping the Supreme Personal Godhead. So simply by worshiping the Supreme Personal Godhead. Through devotional service. Through devotional service. Automatically satisfy the demigods. Automatically satisfy the demigods. Who are parts of the Supreme Personality. Who are parts of the Supreme Personality. Purple Vaisal Rupa. Sometimes people ask, why is Krishna consciousness movement simply advocates worship of Krishna to the exclusion of the demigods? The answer is given in this verse. The example of pouring water on the root of a tree is very appropriate. In Bhagavad Gita, it is said, Sri Bhagavan was, Uddham Muram Adasakam Asustham Pravabhyam Chandasi Jasya Pannani Jastam Veda Savyadavit. The Blessed Lord said, there is a billion tree that has its roots of water and its branches down and whose leaves are the Vedic elements. One who knows this tree is the knower of the Vedas. This cosmic manifestation has expanded downward and the root is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. As the Lord unfolds in Bhagavad Gita, An Sarvasya Prabhu, Matta Sarvam Prabhupati, I am the source of all spiritual and material worlds. Everything emanates from me. The wise who perfectly know this engage in my devotional service and worship me with all their hearts. Krishna is the root of everything. Therefore, rendering service to Supreme Personal God at Krishna. Krishna Seva means automatically serving all demigods. Sometimes it is our good that karma and jnana require a mixture of bhakti in order to be successfully executed. And sometimes it is our good that bhakti also requires karma and jnana for its successful termination. The fact is, however, that although karma and jnana cannot be successful without bhakti, bhakti doesn't require the help of karma and jnana. No doesn't require karma and jnana. Actually, as described by Sri Rupa Goswami, Anya Vyasta Sunyam Jnana Karma Adi Anarudam. Pure devotional service should not be contaminated by the torture of karma and jnana. Modern society is involved in various types of philanthropic wars, humanitarian wars, and so on. But people do not know that these activities will never be successful unless Krishna, the Supreme Personal Godhead, is brought into the center. Huh? Without Krishna, what is the value of this thing? Huh? 
zero. Value is zero. Isn't it? If you are zero plus zero plus zero plus zero, then that's all it is zero. Or multiply zero into zero into zero into zero. The result is zero. Huh? That's the value of zero. If you put one at the left hand side of zero, then it has value. If one zero, then it's ten. Two zero is hundred, tenfold. Three zero is thousand, again tenfold. Ah, huh? then zero has some value if one is there. Just left hand side of zero. No one, then it's zero. Add zero 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 or multiply zero zero. धर्म Do you understand? Spotless proof. Mahaprabhu has given this opinion. It speaks about Prema Bhakti Tattva. Srimad ah. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada Maharaj says if all the books from the library of the world are destroyed, there is no loss at all. If only Srimad Bhagavad is there, then you have got to kill it. <laughs> So many, so many libraries have so many books are there. It's all lost, destroyed, no loss. What is value is zero. If Srimad Bhagavad is there, everything is there. Dharma Satya Daya Peta, Vidyavata Vasranita, Madhvata Peta Matman, Nat Samyatmati. These are very much Dharma, so called religiously, truthfulness. Dharma Satya Daya. Mercifulness, so mercy. Kindness to reward living entities. Dharma Satya Daya. Vidya Tapasya. Your education. Tapasya. Finance. Austerity. They are very good things, isn't it? Dharma Satya Daya. Vidya Tapasya. Not Bhakti Api. Not Sasamya. But without Bhakti, without Krishna Bhakti, all these things have no value at all. Dharma Satya Daya Vidya Tapasya have no value without Krishna Bhakti. But Bhakti Apeta Matmana, not Samya Punati. Without Krishna Bhakti, you are cultivating all these things. Understand me, Ramis? Dharma Satya, religiosity, truthfulness, kindness, education, Vidya acquiring education. So many material education, I've got so many degrees from material. In the house, it is MA, PhD, doctorate. Ah, yes. With that, of course, you may be undergoing very uh, severe austerity and penance also, yes. Without Krishna Bhakti, value is zero. Madhvakti apitamatana samya punati, they will never. Purify your heart completely. Do you understand? If Krishna Bhakti is a day, then they have value. Otherwise, it's all zero. It's all zero. The karma, uh, as described in Rupa Goswami, Anyabhya Vasunyam, Jnana Karma Adi Anapratam. If pure devotional service should not be contaminated by touch of karma and jnana, what is the value of karma and jnana? Uh, Karma jnana bhakti mukha nirikya bha. So it's in Chaitanya process. Karma jnana bhakti mukha nirikya bha. Follow my language? Huh? I'm not hearing Chaitanya Chaitanya Mahapurush teachings. Huh? Karma jnana bhakti mukha nirikya bha. Karma and jnana just waiting. To see the beautiful face of Bhakti. Do you understand? Yes. 
They're waiting. To see the beautiful face of Bhakti Devi. Oh, without our Bhakti, what the hell of karma and gyan? Annabhyasta sunyam gyan karma adhyanabhutam. Pure devotion is sunyam to be contaminated by the thoughts of karma and gyan. Modern society is involved in various types of philanthropy work, humanitarian work, and so on. But people do not know that these activities will never be successful unless Krishna, the Supreme Person of God, is brought into the center. Yes. And it is proved. Are they coming out in it? Are they coming out successful? Such philanthropists? Huh? Because they have Krishna, they come out successful. One asks, what harm is there in worshipping Krishna and the different parts of his body, the demigods? And the answer is also given in this verse. The point is that by supplying food to the stomach, the indriyas, the senses are automatically satisfied. Yes. If you give, give food to the stomach, the whole body is nourished. Huh? Automatically all senses are satisfied. Huh? Without giving food to the stomach, you give food to the ear, nose, eye, hand, leg. Huh? What do you There is a story. Do you understand? Once the, all the senses of the body think of the hands, the legs, huh? the ears, the nose, the eyes, tongue, etc. All thought of all. We are doing so much work. This stomach is not doing anything. Only. Yes. Only. It is not doing anything. The hand said, I do so much, so much. They said, I walk so many miles, miles, miles. Yes, yes, I hear so many telephone calls, so many things. Yes, <laughs> 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 I say, I see so many persons with that person, that person, that person, see this size, you know, the stomach is not doing anything. <coughs> and only eating. Let us not supply any food to the stomach. <laughs> yes, don't give any problem. He is not doing his lazy person all the city. We are all laboring hard. So there is non cooperation. Non cooperation, they are non cooperative. Eh? Then what happened? The leg cannot move now. <laughs> and cannot walk now. Ear cannot hear now. I cannot see now. Baba, what happened? <laughs> they become so weak. Then, then they understood, oh yes, no, 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 no. It seems that it is not doing any work, but it is so much work. It supplies and all it was. Therefore, it will survive. We understand similar. You should understand Krishna. <laughs> uh, this it says, uh, this verse, how it says nicely, prana paharatsa satindriyana. Uh, if you put to, give food to this stomach, the indriya sense are automatically satisfied. If one tries to feed his eyes or ears independently, the result is only havoc. Simply by supplying food to the stomach, we satisfy all the senses. It is neither necessary nor feasible to render separate service to the individual senses. The conclusion is that by serving Krishna, Krishna Seva, everything is complete. Everything is complete. As confirmed in Chaitanya Kanta, Krishna Bhakti Koile Sarva Karma Krita Hoy. Isn't it? Krishna Bhakti Koyle Sarva Karma Krita Hoy. Chaitanya Kanta Madhurira. If you develop, you say, if one is engaged in the devotional service of the Supreme Personal God and Krishna, everything is automatically accomplished. Yes. Nothing is left out. Krishna Bhakti Koyle Sarva Karma Krita Hoy. If you develop Krishna Bhakti, all your work, 
finished. All your duties finished. All your obligations finished. No more. What is left out? Huh? Pardon? How it is left out? Can you hear? No, I didn't have the point. I didn't understand. I'm sorry. Krishna Bhakti Gaila Sarvakarma Purta Hoi. If you develop Krishna Bhakti, that means Krishna Bhakti is devotion service to Krishna. Do you understand? Krishna is sad. Krishna is satisfied. Everybody is satisfied. If you develop Krishna Bhakti Gaila Sarvakarma Purta Hoi. All your work, all your duty, all your obligations are finished. No more. No duty. Oh yes, I have duty for my family. Oh yes, family members, my wife, huh? my son, my daughter, so much so my country. Yes, I have duty for my country. Yes, yes. Huh? Isn't it? I am obliged, I have obli obligation. Huh? But he says, Krishna Bhakti Gaila Sarvakam Prudhoi. You develop Krishna Bhakti, if you, if you are engaged in the devotion service to the Supreme Lord Krishna, everything is automatically accomplished. No duty is left out. All duty is finished. Well, huh? But you cannot understand it. And you have no faith in it, this question of faith. Krishna faith, Sadha. Huh? Sadha. Sadha means strong faith, unflinching faith. Sadha, Sadha, Vishwasa, Kohe, Sudra, Nishya, Krishna, Bhakti, Kohe, Sarvakara, Krita, Hai. That is the whole. So it is just done. Sadha, Sadha, Vishwasa, Kohe, Sudra, Nishya, Hai. Krishna, Bhakti, Kohe, Sarvakara, Krita, Hai. Sadha means strong faith. You understand? Unflinching faith. Huh? Faith in what? Faith in this statement. Understand? This statement. Krishna Bhakti Gaila Sarvakaram Kudai. If you develop Krishna Bhakti, if you will engage in the devotional service of Supreme Lord Krishna, everything is automatically accomplished. Huh? Huh? And you have no faith in it. Therefore, you cannot get it. This is question of faith. Huh? How do you do it? The problem, how do you do it? All right, I will be engaged in Krishna's service. I will forget anything. Uh, my duty, my obligation, there for my family, my wife, my son, daughter, family members, and my country. Great man, that's philanthropic, uh, patriotic person. Ah, patriotic, patriotism. My country, yes, my duty. But if the thing is accomplished. Ah, living Krishna, what is the value of the country? Living Krishna, what is the value of the body or have body relationships? It's healthier. It's healthier, isn't it? Aung Sarvasya Prabhu, Matta Sarvam Prabhupada. Oh, Gita says, huh? I am the source, Krishna says, I am the source of all spiritual material worlds, everything emanates from me. The wise who perfectly know this, engage in my devotion service and worship me with all their hearts. Krishna, that's mean to stay, jump to stop. If Krishna is satisfied, Krishna is pleased, whole. World is satisfied and pleased. Everybody will be pleased and satisfied. Huh? But living Krishna, you try to satisfy, but they are not satisfied. Huh? Can you satisfy anybody, living Krishna? Can you satisfy your wife? You know him? Huh? No, then you can't to satisfy your man. Yeah. If you, if you give her a gold case, all right, I have brought this gold case for you. Please, be in this gold case. Still this Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
जस्मिन पुष्टे जुगु पुष्टे उसने सर्च पाए उसने ओ गुरु बिकॉज़ ही द सोर्स ऑफ एवरीथिंग इज लाइक लाइक द रूट ही पोर वाटर एट द रूट ऑफ द ट्री और और द ब्रांचेस ट्रीज लीव्स फ्लावर्स फ्रूट्स ऑफ दिस ऑल गेट और कैटी इज इट हां बट डिसरिगार्डिंग द ट्रू रूट यू स्प्रिंकल वाटर इन द ट्रीज ब्रांचेस लीव्स फ्रूट्स व्हाट विल हैपन यू विल ट्राई Is it? You have disregarded the root. How can you satisfy? You understand? This is most important in us, and we have no faith in this statement. Question of the Gaya Sarvakarma Guru Dhawa. We have no faith. How? Oh, how is it? Question will come and feed us. I want make some arrangement of feeding. Ah. Huh? My family members, huh? Krishna will come and feed us, huh? Krishna will come and feed us, huh? Who are feeding you? Who is feeding you, Baba? Krishna, huh? Krishna. What is your requirement? Who supplies? Who gives you, huh? Krishna. Krishna does that. Krishna is so mara. Krishna is maintaining the whole universe. He is Vishwamitra, isn't it? What is one's need? Krishna supplies, isn't it? An elephant needs a ton, needs tons, tons of food every day. How he gets? Huh? We are thinking of oh, scarcity of food, scarcity of food, scarcity of food. Ah, uh, population increased, increased, increased. Uh, production decrease, decrease, decrease. <laughs> so scarcity of food. You are thinking that thing. The elephant never thinks of that thing. <laughs> he needs tons, tons of food every day. How he gets? Huh? Isn't it? So a frog, a tiny frog, you can stay there. There is some crack. There is a crack in the wood. And frog is there. He also gets his food. Yes. Who supplies? Just the Vishwamitra. There's no other Vishwamitra. Maintains the whole universe. He's supplying. Why not supply to you, Baba? And you has the capacity of food. Why? <laughs> Why? This capacity of food. <laughs> you are not paying for it. No faith in this statement. Krishna bhakti ko ille sarva karma krita hoy. Devo Krishna bhakti ho. Everything is automatically accomplished. And Bhagavad Gita also we find. Ananda chintan tamang jena purji pasti. Isang nitya vijutta jo bhakti mum bhaam. Ananda chintan tamang jena purji pasti. Supreme, who is a well-wishing friend, 
with the Supreme Personality of God, this was said, Tathāra Chutija. If Supreme Lord Krishna is received, served through devotional service, all are satisfied. Huh? And you have no faith in it. And Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Anana Chintan Bhavan Jejana Purjipasthi Tisa Nitya Vijutana Joga Khemu Vahami. I take up this responsibility of Joga Khemu. Isn't it? And what the Lord or not, devotion, that means all these things of me, even more things of me, that is Ananda Jinta. You understand? Ananda Jinta, Pandit, is Nitya, constantly attached to me, Nitya Vijutta, constantly attached. Never leave me for a moment, constantly attached to me. I take up that responsibility of Joga Khema. What he has gotten to maintain it. I can have a sponsor to maintain what he has gotten. And came up, job came up, but not gotten to supply to give it. That is joke him. Huh? And we have no faith in this statement of Krishna. Isn't it? So that what is that? Will Krishna come and feed us? Yes. Will Krishna come and feed us? He cannot do, not work, not earn money, huh? and not think of my responsibility towards my family, family maintenance. Huh? Will Krishna my maintain my family? Huh? Isn't it? How Krishna said, Jo Kevum Bhami, Allah, you have got gotten some family, you have some responsibility, obligation, duty. And Krishna says, Joga Khemu Bahami, I take up the responsibility because strange things of me, there are things of anything. His body, body relations, family maintenance, there are things at all. Only engaged in my service, how to render loving service to Krishna and giving all pleasure. Eh? Satisfaction to Krishna base. I take that responsibility. Huh? And you cannot put faith in it. Huh? Isn't it? But it's too bad. Do you think what Krishna said that's wrong? Huh? Krishna is liar? Is liar? He tells lie? Huh? Now why while over mercy to Krishna? Why here is Gatha? Huh? Why you here? You give up Krishna. He got that Krishna. He's a great liar. <laughs> but so truth is supreme truth. Parama Satya, absolute truth, only truth. Huh? But we have no faith. You understand? As many, many proofs are there. You just put it in your practice. Make this body is mean for the service of Krishna. Yes. Body is mean for the service of Krishna. It's Krishna's body. Krishna is the proprietor. Isn't it? Ansarvasya Prabhu, Martha Sarvam Prabhupada. Iti Martha Avasanta Man Buddha Bhava Samanita. These are Buddha, those wise perfect know this engagement was on service. And worship me with all their hearts. Krishna is the only relationship we have perfect loving relationship with Krishna. Yes. Perfect loving relationship with Krishna. Well everything your body is related to Krishna. Unless you establish your relationship with Krishna, your eternal perfect loving relationship with Krishna, then what is your existence? Hmm? Zero. No existence. You have not established your relations with Krishna. You, you have established a temporary material relationship and temporary relationship. Krishna is eternal, the relationship is eternal, not only eternal, perfect loving. Eternal, perfect loving relationship. That's Krishna. You understand? But you have developed this 
material relationship, but really relationship is the material is temporary. Today the body is there, next day it is finished. Then the relationship is finished. And you have to love for this body. And what is the lessons? Your wife, your son, your daughter. And friends, so-called love. And friendship, isn't it? And you try, in other words, putting huh, this body and bodily relations, that's your wife, son and daughter, in the platform of love. In the platform of love. You try to get some happiness and pleasure, isn't it? But consequently, what are you getting? Huh? What are you getting? Are you getting real pleasure and happiness? Huh? Consequently, is unlimited misery, isn't it? Unlimited misery you are getting. Putting your body or bodily relation. The body is material, body is temporary. The relations with the body are all material and temporary. And you have put that body and body relation with your wife, children. Well, this is in the platform love and trying to get some pleasure, enjoyment, and happiness. But consequently, as a result, you Get unlimited miseries. Isn't it? Why? Why you can't get real pleasure, eternal pleasure, and happiness? Because you have not established a relationship with Krishna that is perfect eternal loveliness. You have not put Krishna in the loving platform of love. Krishna is the only object of love. This is question of love. The, otherwise, how the stupid mind will think of Krishna? Unless you develop love for Krishna. Huh? You have never some love and affection for your body and body less on that stupid mind thinks of that thing. Yeah, isn't it? And you have not developed love for Krishna and not put Krishna in the platform of love. Therefore, man cannot think. And as a result, you are getting unlimited, unlimited miseries, unlimited miseries. Look at the moment, yeah. Miseries and sufferings. Miseries and sufferings. If you put Krishna in the platform of love, the star is a perfect eternal love. You listen to Krishna and engage the devotional service, huh? you'll get so much blissfulness, uh, happiness, which is eternal. Which is eternal, not temporary. Prithina Javan Mai Basu Devi, Nam Chate Deva Jogi Na Tavan. Bhagavad Gita. Prithina Javan Mai Basu Devi, Nam Chate Deva Jogi Na Tavan. As long as you have not developed Prithi, love, Basu Deva Krishna, you cannot be delivered from your bodily bondage, material bondage, no. Again and again, eh? you will be involved in this cycle of birth and death in this material world, which is Dukkaraya or Saswata, which is temporary, which is a miserable platform. How can you get real pleasure and happiness? Huh? In this platform, which is filled with all miseries, no happiness is all miseries, Dukkha. Eh? You have not developed attachment. Huh? Love and attachment towards Krishna. You have developed some love and affection and attachment to this body, bodily relation, home and heart, putra, kalatra, son, daughter, wife. Yes, you cannot be delivered from this bodily bondage. Krishna is the object of love. He is the soul of the soul, Lord Hari and Krishna. If we can <coughs> <coughs> satisfy him, please him, render loving service to him, 
then your life is successful. Buddhindriya mana prana jana anga sudas prabhu. Matrantansa babarthansa alpane ha kalpana ayo cha. Then kind of Srimad Bhagavan says, Buddhi indriya mana jana anga sudas prabhu matrantansa babarthansa alpane ha kalpana ayo cha. If you develop, if you can establish your perfect return of loving relationship with Krishna, and put Krishna in the platform of love, in other words, develop love for Krishna, then your intelligence, all your senses, body means all your senses, intelligence, mana, mind, everything will be perfect. You understand? You will be perfect. Sartha, otherwise, without Krishna. If you cannot put Krishna in the center, then everything is zero, useless. You understand? I was saying that thing. अनन्तिन्तन्तमं जेजनापुजुपावस्थिति सन्नित्यामिजुतानं जोकिमुभामि आउ डिस्ट्रूस फैट ये सब कुछ टेक्स ऑफ दिस रेस्पॉन्स यू जो का एंड केव बट गार्डन यू टेक्स ऑफ रेस्पॉन्स मेंटल यू बट इन दिस बॉडी इन बॉडी इज मीड फॉर कुशल सर्विस यू एंगेज इन कुशल सर्विस देन इट इज कुशल प्रॉपर्टी Engaged in my service, so I must take care of it. If you not, if you not be engaged in Krishna service or engaged in your own ah, body or body lesson service, why Krishna will take a responsibility? You understand? And can you protect this body? Huh? Can you protect? No, you can't protect this body. Death may come at any time, you finish, isn't it? But Krishna will protect that body, which is engaged in his loving service. It's just his body. In that sense, my body and my body relations. Everything must be. Amar Bhali De Prabhu, Ar Kichu Nahi. Tumi Amar Martropi, Pita Bandhuhai. Bhakti Mira Thakur Mahadam says, Oh Lord, there's nothing that I can say. My, everything belongs to you. Aum Sarvashya Prabhu. Everything belongs to you. You are my father, you are my mother, you are my father, you are my mother, you are my friend, you are everything. Yes, Krishna is everything. Yes. So, Krishna said, Joga Kemo Bahamyam, one knows this thing and was until his faith in it. And he gets the result. That was that is one story. You know the story of this, what is that, devotee, Mehta, Narsing Mehta, Narsing Mehta, you know, story of Narsing Mehta, it's a dear devotee of Krishna, completely surrendered, all these things of Krishna, nothing, no other thought is there, yeah, I don't know how, Narsing Mehta, you understand? Now, Krishna takes up all responsibility, Jokyam Bahami. It is a recent story, it is not a past story, it is a recent story. And those are some devotees, dear devotees of Krishna, they, they experience, they experience this thing, they are complete surveys. Mm. Krishna will take up. They, they never say it's my family, it's Krishna's family, yes. It's Krishna's family. Amar Bhavati, this is not my family, it's Krishna's family. All family is Krishna calls us. All family are devotees of Krishna. That's Krishna's family. Then our family, all family members are engaged in the service of Krishna. Huh? That's Krishna's sansar. That is Krishna's sansar. That's Krishna's family. I with the highest master of the family. If he is completely surrendered so he will be the of Krishna. He never says, my family. It's Krishna's family. It's Krishna's family. Krishna's family master. Oh, he takes care of the family. He maintains my family. He will be so maintain the whole universe. He 
doesn't say Spanish. So that's not Simeta. Mm. He was a family man and he had mm, many, he had a wife and children also. You understand? Many children. Yeah. Mm. Also, daughters were there, and daughters grew up. They attained the marriage age. The parents' duty to give marriage. That's parents' duty to give marriage. Daughters, sons, and daughters. Yes. So his wife said, "Oh, this daughter has attained marriage age. Yes. You are not thinking of." How to give her marriage? Huh? You are not earning money. He is very poor man. He is very poor. He has no wealth at all. Always thinks of Krishna, engaged in Krishna bhajan, engaged in sravanam kirtanam. Huh? Do you understand? He is chanting Krishna katha, Bhagavad katha, speaking. He is chanting. Nothing else. Never thinks of. His family maintenance, nothing. The job thing, Ananda Chintyanta. Then says a silly woman, why are you disturbing me? Krishna said this thing in Bhagavad Gita, Jogo Kemu Bahamyam. He will take up, she takes up the responsibility. It's not my family, it's Krishna's family. I'm always thinking about it, engaged in his service. Engaged in Sauron Kirtan here in Chanty. Why are you disturbing? Oh, oh, Krishna will come and make marriage negotiation and give marriage to your daughter. What I am saying? The wife says, Woman consciousness, silly woman. Ah, don't disturb me. Everything will be accomplished, I said. Everything is automatically accomplished. Yes. How faith in it? What I am saying? I have no faith. I can't. If you want to get out, go out, seek a bridegroom for your daughter. If there is some negotiation, then we must have to do it. And you are not getting out, not going out, not seeking, not making any arrangement, not thinking of anything, so it's automatically accomplished. Everything is up. The woman every day disturbs me. Oh, this is disturbing me. A light of Krishna, you have said this thing. Are you a liar? There's no truth. Huh? Who's your friend? Why this woman is disturbing me? Please take care of it. So, after some days, some person came. Some person came. A marriage negotiation. They came and saw the daughter. Oh yes, nice daughter. A light. We'll take this daughter. Yes, we have a son. So my son will marry. We understand. So there was negotiation, marriage fixed. A light. How to surprise. Jogo came on Baham. Yes. Though poor man, no money, still it took place. Marriage was fixed. All right, marriage was fixed to them. Immediate marriage, not delay. Because there is a Tithi, Viva Tithi, do you understand Tithi? Auspicious days. And that day, that Tithi, marriage will take place. In calendar, Panjika is all mentioned. Do you understand? All mentioned Punjika calendar. And they saw the calendar Punjika. Oh, this last tithi is there after four days. Only after four days, the last tithi is there. There are no more marriage tithi. So on that day, marriage will take place. Immediate, immediate place. Where is money? Huh? Where is money? Money is required. Marriage means it's not without money. Uh -huh. <laughs> then money you can make. Because you have to give some dowry. Uh, yes, dowry to the bridegroom. You will feel, you will have a great feast. Friends will come, the neighbors, the villagers, everybody will be fed. Great 
festival, marriage festival. Yes, procession, right room, party will come. They will demand money. Yes, give me 50,000 rupees. Yes, so much money is required. But there is no money. And after four days, the marriage will take place. What will How will it be? Impossible. <laughs> then again, the wife says, All right, get out now, money, get out. Some money somewhere, how we can for marriage? Only for some time, four days. How is it possible? No money for man. How well, can I get money? Oh, I don't Have you any ornament? Previously, there were no banks. Now you are saying putting your money in bank. Then you have some bank balance. You will withdraw from bank or not? Do it. Yes. Yeah? Withdraw from bank. Your bank balance, money to withdraw. This is part of marriage festival. But that, previously there were no banks. A poor man, no money, how can you put it in the bank? So, women, they have these ornaments. Golden ornaments or silver ornaments. That is their bank balance. Yes, that ornaments are bank balance. Yes, women's ornaments. They put on golden bangles like this, so then a necklace, earrings. It is a bank balance. At the time of need, they sell it or they put it somewhere and borrow money. Do you understand? That is history. So a woman had some ornaments. Then he said, oh, I have some ornaments. Give me and go get out and put it somewhere and borrow some money from me. Some uh, money person. Otherwise, how can I get money and perform the marriage? First of all, the very short time for rest. So wife gave some ornaments. She yeah, I kept for me. Marriage. She went out. Most in Medita went out. In one village, he found some Bhagavad Sapta was going on. Seven days, the reading of Srimad Bhagavad Krishna Kata. Huh? Bhagavad Sapta, seven days going on. He is just a devotee. Rasika Bhakta. He is Rasika Bhakta. But they have a taste for this mellow nectarian juice. Ah, and Mahan is in Srimad Bhagavad. How can he leave it? He cannot leave it. So smell it, unbelievable. So he sat down there, completely became absorbed. How can everything? How to get money for the marriage of his daughter? Completely forgot. For seven days, sat down there. And he had increased the time. Then he came and said, oh, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> I have come from this part. He said, oh, I said, what should I do? <laughs> what did that mean happen there? <laughs> oh, I thought, what shall I do? If I go back, my wife will beat me. <laughs> <laughs> So many places, so many persons I met and just tell them, please give this announce to me such a mom of money. Nobody was willing. So what shall I do? So I think it became so late. He just thought of like that in his mind, coming. When he came close to his village, he said, ah, that marriage is already performed <laughs> very virtuously, nicely. All are talking about, oh, such a poor man, where well, could he get so much money? It's like, like a king, king dog, king of a king, you understand? We have not seen such type of marriage, such pomp and ceremony, such nice fee, feast, so many people were fair, oh, such nice 
Gauri ge? If king cannot get, give. People are talking about it. In heart. What happened? Your marriage, daughter's marriage. My daughter's marriage, oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> Two plus, oh yes. We are not serious on marriage. A king couldn't have done so. So some proper civil marriage us. A form is <laughs>
Because then they will all become in the bond process. Then my enemies are finished. So Dhruvasa went there in the afternoon. Yudhishthira Maharaj, Dharma Raj, is Dharma Raj. Mm -hmm. Very strictly follow the principles of Dharma and this is, this is Grosta Dharma. This Dharma is Grosta to uh, take care of the guest. You understand? Aditi Seva, to serve the guest. Aditi Narayana. For a, for a Grosta Aditi is Narayana. That is in Sastra. Mm, it is like Supreme Law. Guest means without previous notice comes. That is the guest. No previous notice is there. All of a sudden appears, comes, is a Aditi guest. This is Grosta's Dharma. He will give you a nice seat to his seat, give you a nice place to stay, ah, give him nice food, whatever he needs, serve you. Satisfy the guest. That is Grosta's Dharma. Aditi Seva. You follow me? Yeah. So, Dushri Maharaj, Sadhana Maharaj, very strict follow the principles of dharma. Dushri Maharaj pays obeisance and so like your aditi, your guest, your guest, you have come. So please, go and take a bath immediately and need you. Hmm? So, I will serve you, I will feed you. Well, with all your disciples, so they went to take bath to the mm, nearest spring, rivulet, you understand? But problem came to Draupadi. Because Dhrishtra will ask Draupadi, Draupadi bring food. Draupadi has the problem now. She cannot bring food. Because no food, Draupadi has already eaten. Already washed the cooking pots, everything. Nothing is there. Problem is that for and you thought of all it's a dangerous position now. What shall I do? Well send me from this danger. Then that only Krishna can send me from the danger. No, because he already sent me. How is she was so severely persecuted, mercilessly persecuted in the assembly of Gurus? Ah Dusasana was trying to make her naked. Who said? Krishna said, supply unlimited pieces of clothes, isn't it? Krishna said, Krishna is a friend. Yes, it's so well he's in friend. No, only he can send me from this. Then the teachers and nobody can send me. We are finished. Then we offer prayers to Krishna. With dear flies, God, Krishna, please send me from this danger. Krishna was running breathlessly. You understand? Yes. And the devotee of us prayer with dear flies. Mm. You understand? Krishna in his abode in Golok Vrindhara. Huh? Then telephone rings there. Crane, crane, crane. <laughs> oh, which telephone? Oh, look at this telephone. <laughs> <laughs> Such telephone is <laughs> Yes, this is in the heart of her prayer. And so devotee offers prayer and tearful eyes, crying and offers prayer. Krishna. Krishna is running breathlessly, running breathlessly from the distance calling, shouting, Draupadi, 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 I am very hungry, give me food. <laughs> Draupadi, <laughs> Draupadi, Draupadi, I am very hungry, give me food. And give me a Draupadi, Draupadi. Please listen to me. I won't listen to anything. Please give me food first. Then I'll listen. But that is my problem. I have no food. But must be some food there. Not a fact. No food. No, must be some food. All right, bring your cooking portion. I will see some food must be there. So she brought the cooking pan. That that day she had cooked some sharp leafy vegetables. Then she said, brought the cook. Pan. Okay, pan. One tiny leaf, one tiny leaf was there. Just is not washed up. Oh yes, it is here. 
Because the more time lived, I ate it. It became so much satisfying. Nobody, you fed me so much. My whole stomach is very heavy enough. <laughs> yes. My whole bell is heavy enough. <laughs> so one time lived and one glass of water. Oh, bell is heavy now. I, I want to. Take rest. <laughs> <laughs> it's not <the> same. <laughs> so the Basa Muni and his thousand disciples are taking bath there. The whole the parents became happy. <laughs> <laughs> they cannot lift themselves from the water. <laughs> One of the disciples said, Guruji, what <laughs> happened? <laughs> the is so much heavy. <laughs> Miraculous, what, what happens? My belly is so silly. I cannot live. It was oh, so is the case with me. <laughs> <laughs> so is the case with me. <laughs> Just in two stages of the sun, taking one tiny leaf, Krishna will be satisfied. <laughs> and they're all bellies up here now. Leave them so from the water. You see? Then the last I thought of. Oh, these uh, Pandavas are Vaishnavas. Then he thought of, he had one disregarded this uh, blasphemy that Vaishnava. Ah, Maharaj, Amma is Maharaj. Oh, once blasphemy said, so. Vaishnava, Amma is Maharaj, that Vishnu Sudarshan Chakra ran behind me. Oh, Vaishnava, they are Vaishnava, they are Vaishnava. Oh, let us get out, let us get out. <laughs> <laughs> they run away. Oh, they are Vaishnava. And they are running out. They are not coming back. <laughs> you see, you see. It doesn't mean to stay in the Krishna is satisfied. Everybody is satisfied. For a while it is satisfied. Everything is automatically accomplished. Yes. ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ All our servants is to be served. Nobody is to be served. Only Krishna is to be served. Hmm? If you serve Krishna and our loving service unto him, under the guidance of a hmm? Vaisana Guru, hmm? you will be satisfied. Everything is accomplished. Yes. Why not? Huh? But we are not happy. We are lacking faith. Therefore, we face problems, face dangers. Oh. Otherwise, everything will be accomplished. And this was the most important was So, that thing. Mm. But we are not engaged in service of Krishna. Mm. We are all engaged in service of body, body relations. Mm. and trying to satisfy them, but we cannot try to satisfy. Krishna Bhakti Janma Muraha is Sadhu Sama. Krishna Prema Janma Tiyo Punna Muraha Mukhya Amba. Sadhu, one is completely surrendered. It's 24 hours, day and night, 24 hours and guest. And loving service of Krishna is Sadhu. Mm. The association is Sadhu. Hearing from him, Everything is mercy, then you will develop some Krishna Bhakti, Prema Bhakti. Mm. Mm. But unless you associate Sasad and hear this, Bhagavad Gata, Krishna Gata, mm. Krishna is the object of love and Krishna is to serve only send the Vastu. Mm. Then you develop this bodily relationships, bodily conception of life, ah, body is everything. They will run about to fulfill the demands, meet the demands of this body, eating, sleeping, defending, and marrying. 
to make so many arrangements, so many, so many plans and projects are done, marmani, 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 for making nice arrangements of eating, sleeping, defending and mating for my body and body relations. Ah, what will happen? You no, know, will not come to the sadhu, you don't ask you sadhu, you don't hear from sadhu, you don't develop this Krishna bhakti. Ah, what will happen? What will be the consequence? Unlimited miseries, sufferings, yes. This desire for material enjoyment will lead you to unlimited miseries and sufferings. That is the root cause of your suffering, miseries. Your desire for material enjoyment, bodily enjoyment and relations. You understand? Similarly, service to Krishna, Bhagavad Seva, Bhagavad Seva. Service to Krishna is the source of all transcendental blissfulness and happiness. Transcendental blissfulness and happiness is Krishna Seva. This is proper say, proper say, Krishna Seva, because it's to be served. Yes. All are engaged in such. Ah, scientists, material scientists, trying to make this person to carry a miserable platform very comfortable, isn't it? To carry this platform, material platform is to carry miserable platform. They're trying to make it comfortable, engaged in so many wonderful discoveries and inventions. How to make it comfortable, comfortable, to enjoy more, enjoyable, enjoyable, enjoyable. Do you expect anything good out of it? No, if Krishna is not sorry. Huh? How can you expect good? Do you think if your problem of eating, sleeping, depending is solved? Huh? Will you get real happiness? Blissfulness or peace, supreme peace? Do you think so? No, Baba, no. Without this serving to Krishna, Bhagavad Seva, Krishna Seva, no, you cannot get supreme peace, bliss, and happiness. Do you follow? That you should understand. If Krishna is satisfied, pleased, everything is accomplished. All are happy. Thank you. Yes. You were speaking about Maharaj's um, situation where devotees should, should understand that if one surrenders to Krishna, then Krishna will supply. Yes. So, there's this ongoing discussion in our movement right now, Ooh. especially amongst the Grihastha Ashram, Ooh. where they have so much problem for maintaining. Yes. And some of them, now the philosophy that is predominant is that if one does not take care of the material responsibilities that one has, then that is also lacking in one's service because the Grihasas, one of the Grihasa Dhammas, they have to take care of this. But in Grihasas taking care of that, then they do less hearing and chanting. <laughs> and, <laughs> and when they, they say that, but if somebody hears and chants, then the family, the kids, they, the kids come and they have no school, no this, no that, then they That's say, it. I, do, I told the story of Narsi Mehta, mm -hmm. <laughs> because you have no faith in Krishna's words. Ananya Chintan, Mantijana, Prabhupada, Vastri, Tishan, Nityadi, Chintana, Jogo, Kevum, Bhame. Oh yeah, my duty here, obligation here, I must take care of. Otherwise they will be made like that. Uh, then people will say, he is a sucker. Uh -oh. Sucker. Sucker. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks this Yes, people say that. Yes, they call 
Nila. Bad names. Nila. Let's be Nila. Yes. You are afraid of that. Escapist. He's an escapist. He's an escapist. Just try to escape. <laughs> Isn't it? What was on to the faith in Krishna? Well, he answers this. And Krishna says that in Jogaki, Mamba Hapi. Yes, I take up. Why you say my family? My children, my wife. You saw Krishna's family. Yes. Krishna Das, so Krishna Dasi. Yes. I am Krishna Das. Why is Krishna Dasi? It's Krishna's family. Because we so government again the whole universe. So we are all engaged in Krishna's service. So why do you think of the maintenance? Who maintains the whole universe? Huh? Why not maintain his family? Is his family Krishna's family? Huh? Why do you think of my family? You know, I said my family. Amar Buddhi Prabhupada Kichuna, to me Amar Mark Prabhita won't why. Bandhu dara suta suta tobo dasi daso. Sita samande sava amar prayasa. Bhakti Vinod Thakur Mahajan says, Oh Lord, there's nothing that I can say, mine. Everything belongs to you. You are my father, you are my mother, you are my friend. You are everything to me. This is what I say, mine. Bandhu, my friend, my wife, my son, my daughter, they are all your servant and my servant. And only one relationship that relations with you, with Krishna. Yes, the only relationship is all you. Das and Dasi, servant and my servants. And if you are really engaged in Krishna's service, don't need your thinking. You get everything nice, everything nice. Krishna and survive. Definitely. Yes. Good night. Um, <coughs> When we take shelter of uh, one of us sadhu, um, people to the Lord, a spiritual master, and they, as Priyasta or Brahmachari, any position in Krishna consciousness, we are engaged in so many services, yes. preaching, um, collecting, yes. sometimes Guru himself said you to do that. Yes. And uh, it's become like a duty as well, sometimes to, to, to leave house early in the morning, to go away to do some collections sometime all day. So, is that the same as chanting and hearing? If you engage so according to the instruction. Unless we hear from Sadhu Guru, how can we get strength? Huh? And I say, unless you give food to your soul, what will happen to the soul? Huh? And this is food for the soul, I say. You must hear and chant. Otherwise, I will go out and huh? serve Krishna. Serves, we will go around. I can get strength. Huh? Huh? Guru Maharaj, for example, uh, <coughs> the spiritual master is uh, very, very far. And he has given you instruction to this collect. To some service. Ah, if you are carrying out the orders of the Guru, yes. that means you are thinking of his instruction. You are hearing from him, then you will get immense strength. Carrying out his orders as it is, not twisting it, not adding any of your deliberation to it. Yes, you follow it as it is, you will get immense strength, spiritual strength. That means you are hearing from the Guru. Yes. That means if someone who is a good guru is engaged in activities according to instruction of guru. Mm. Uh, apparently people, general people may think he's engaging so many mundane activities, but actually it's transcendental. Yes, that is transcendental, yes. You are, you are executing all of the guru, right. as it is. Yeah. That is my guru has said this time. That why you please go. Guru's place that means Krishna's place. Just mean, that means Dasya uh, Prasada. Bhagavad Prasada. Eh? Yes. Jasya Prasada or Bhagavad Prasada. Eh? If a Guru eh, is pleased, then Krishna is pleased. Then that is the means of pleasing Krishna. If you can't please,
Близок гуру, со своим гуру, он говорит, что здесь были, он сам спалился, да, сам здесь. Он говорит, сам здесь, что здесь. И сам, что гуру. Он говорит, что здесь. Он говорит, что здесь. Он говорит, что здесь. Он говорит, что здесь. Buddha worship to me is not my bhakta. Not bhakta and bhakta or jiva me kya. Buddha was worship or who has become devotee of my devotee is a very dear devotee of mine. Do you understand? That Krishna said, not bhakta but the vedika. The worship of my devotee is better than worship of me. That Krishna said. If I am engaged in that, then Krishna becomes very much pleased. Guru Susu Sayadatha. Another verse we can kind of have in there. Now we jump to the Vidham. Taposena Poshinama. Guru Susu Sayadatha. I never become. So satisfied with the person uh, who very strictly follows the principles of, what to say, this Asam Dharma. You follow me? Asam Dharma. Principles of Asam Dharma. This Brahmacharya Asam and Grosta Asam, Mantrasta Asam, Sanyasa Asam. Maybe in a very severe type of austerity and penance, very strict life, austere life, maybe maintaining, do you follow me? One is Bhagavan Prasthira Sanyasi or Brahmachari, or Guru Asta is engaged in following the principles of Guru Asta, Dharma. I am not so much pleased with him. As I am pleased with the first song, who is always engaged in service to the Guru and gives pleasure and satisfaction to Guru. Guru Susu Sayadatha. Yes. And he himself has uh, demonstrated it. When Krishna Balaram, well, Brahmacharis, and just some of Sandeep and Muni, they were, uh, they were Brahmacharis students. And that's so Sandi for you, they are good. So, Guru Sri Sam, that is duty of the disciple, yes. Though his Supreme Personality God, he is so good. So, when there was no fuel in Asa, the food cannot be good, no fuel. So, Guru Patni said, the wife of Guru said, oh boys, well, said Krishna Mala, no food today. How the food can be prepared? Go to the forest and fetch some food. Ah. The supreme personality of God is supreme. They have will. Krishna would have will. Tons, tons of truckloads of food have been there. Ah. Why they would go to the forest with an axe to fetch food? Ah. But this is so true. This lady and our Rosari, our sister, we should do it. So they went to the forest and they were asked to pay soon. Huh? So wonderful Lira, first time she manifests, wonderful way. Very bad weather, thunders, thunderbolt, torrential rain, very dark night, dense dark clouds covering the whole sky. Continuous rain, whole land was inundated. They couldn't come back to us. The father, yes, remained the whole night in the forest, standing beneath a tree. Krishna Bora, the Sandi Pani Muni, whole night couldn't sleep. Or two boys went, couldn't come back because they were back with it. Continuous rain, torrential rain, swollen lions, in a deep deep. What have we to do? So as soon as it was early in the morning, the rain ceases, he ran. He ran to the forest, Sandeep and Muni, and found the two 
boy standing underneath a tree and shivering, 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 like a metal ball. And the metal ball is shivering the whole night, standing, and some stones of rain. The shivering, shivering, shivering. And he embraced them. So sure you are. So sure. Do you understand me? And the body is so sure. Do you understand me? So sure. Because this body is a very dear to your body. All want body is comfort, happiness. Isn't it? But you sustain so much body in suffering for me. Huh? You are so sure. So sure. Sat Sishya, the Sadhguru, Sat Sishya. Real, real Sishya. Real Sishya. Yes. Because you saw it. Real Sishya. So much body is suffering for me. That he says, Mami Jav Dati Vyotamasa Nupasa Vyanava. Guru Susu Sayarata. Krishna says, when they are talking, that is religious. Saying to Sudama Vipra, Sudama was also a student at that time. You understand? When Sudama Vipra went to Dharga, you understand? People poor, very poor. And they were, Krishna and Sudama, friends, they were talking. That day is when we were students in our rooms. Then we were talking about it. At that time, Krishna said that was in their death camp. 